Okay, so let's learn and practice how to divide positive and negative numbers. Now, the best way to learn math is to learn it one skill at a time. So we're just going to focus on this one uh, specific skill, which again is dividing positive and negative numbers. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So before I show you how to divide positive and negative numbers, let's go ahead and see how much you already know right now. Okay, so here is a simple example problem. We have negative 20 divided by negative 10. If you know the answer to this problem, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct answer in just one second. And uh, please do not use a calculator. All right, so negative 20 divided by a negative 10 is equal to a positive 2. All right, now, if you got this answer and you did not guess, well, that is fantastic. You definitely get a happy face and an A plus nice work. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the rule uh, to divide positive and negative numbers. And then we're going to look at uh, a couple of different questions. And then we're going to do a little bit of practice so you can really get this down. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at this example problem again. So we have negative 20 divided by negative 10, and the answer is positive 2. So why is the answer a positive 2? Well, the whole purpose of this video is to cover the sign of the answer. So I'm not going to cover how to do actual division. So the first step in uh, dividing positive and negative numbers is to already know how to divide two numbers. So if you know how to divide 20 by 10, well, that is the first thing that you need to know in terms of dividing positive and negative numbers. Now, if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I need help with division. I'll give you uh, some suggestions at the end of this video on how you can improve in basic number operations. But uh, really, the kind of the main focus of this video is to uh, determine the sign of uh, the answer. So when we, when we are dividing positive and negative numbers, we need to determine if the sign is going to be positive or negative. Okay, so negative 20 divided by negative 10, the answer is a positive 2, but why? Okay, so uh, before I show you the rule here, let's go ahead and take a look at the same problem, but uh, in a different way. So negative 20 divided by negative 10 is equivalent to the fraction negative 20 over negative 10. So when you see a fraction where the numerator or denominator has either a negative number or positive number, you need to think about this rule, uh, how to divide positive and negative numbers. So negative 20 over negative 10 is equivalent to the problem negative 20 divided by negative 10. Remember, the fraction bar is the division operation. Okay, so what is the rule to divide positive and negative numbers? Well, it is very easy. So if the signs of the numbers are the same, okay, i.e. two positive numbers or two negative numbers, the answer will always be positive. The sign of the answer will always be positive. And uh, if the signs are different, well, the answer is negative. Okay, that is the rule. And uh, this is actually the same rule for multiplication. Okay, but we're going to just focus on division. So negative 20 divided by negative 10, we first already need to know how to do basic division. So 20 divided by 10, of course, is 2. But we need to determine the sign of the answer. So negative signs here, the signs are the same. So the answer is going to be positive. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at another example here. So positive 20 divided by negative 10. What do you think the answer is going to be? Well, if you're like, hey, Mr. T2 Math Man, I think the answer is negative 2 because the signs are different. In other words, we have a positive number here and a negative number over here. Well, anytime you have two different signs, a positive and a negative, or a negative and a positive, the final answer is going to be negative. But uh, you still need to just do the division with the numbers, and then we determine what the sign is going to be uh, based upon looking at the uh, uh, the signs of the numbers involved. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, give you kind of a little pop quiz here, and then we're going to practice some actual problems. Now, before we continue on, make sure to hit that subscribe button. This really does help my channel grow on YouTube. Also, make sure to check out my full library of math courses. Now, in every single one of my courses, I give you a full comprehensive detailed lesson on every single topic. 
Also, I cover thousands of problems with full video solutions. I have a ton of worksheets, online quizzes so you can get ready for test, and even printable and downloadable notes so you can study offline. All right, so if you want a great, clear, and understandable way to learn math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. Okay, so let's see how well you actually understand how to divide positive and negative numbers. So before we get to some actual problems, let's see if we can answer these really easy quiz questions. And our first question, by the way, if you know the answer to these, put that into the comment section. But to our first question is, when dividing two numbers, for the answer to be negative, the signs must be what? Okay, so once again, when dividing two numbers, for the answer to be negative, the signs must be what? Well, the correct answer here is different, okay? So the signs must be different. So in other words, a positive divided by a negative, you have different signs here, the answer will be negative, or a negative divided by a positive, the sign of the answer will be negative. Okay, so if that's what you put into the comment section as your answer, great job. You definitely get full credit and a little happy face. Okay, so let's move on to the next uh, question. So uh, some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, why are you giving me uh, questions like this? Well, if you are taking some sort of math uh, course, uh, typically you'll see questions like this on quizzes and tests, but uh, we're, going, we're going to get to some actual problems in just one second. But uh, let's take a look at this next question. All right, so true or false, if you know the answer, put this into the comment section or put that into the comment section. So in math, there can be times when the solution to a negative number divided by a negative number will also be negative. Okay, so let me read this again. So in math, there can be times when the solution to a negative number divided by another negative number where the answer will also be negative. So in other words, if we have a negative number and we're dividing it by another negative number, the answer will be negative or a negative divided by a negative can sometimes we end up with a negative answer. Okay, so what do you think? Well, the answer here is false, right? You'll never have any uh, time where a negative divided by a negative will end up being negative, okay? So the signs are the same, negative and negative, so the answer will always be positive. Okay, so if you got that right, well, you're definitely going to get another little happy face and full credit. All right, so uh, we are done with this little pop quiz, and now we're going to uh, see how you do on some actual problems. Okay, so without using a calculator, let's see if you can figure out the answer to these three questions. So our first uh, problem is negative six divided by a positive two. What is the answer to that? Our next problem is negative eight divided by a negative four. What's the answer to that? And then our last problem is 15 divided by three or positive 15 divided by a divided by a positive three. What is the answer to that question there? Okay, so once again, no calculators and uh, hopefully you can do this in your head. But if you know the answers uh, to these problems, put that into the comment section. Okay, so negative uh, six divided by a positive two. So remember, we, we already need to know how to divide. So if you kind of think of this problem as six divided by two, of course, the answer is going to be three, but we need to consider that we are dealing with a negative number and a positive number. The signs are different. This one's negative, this one is positive. So when the signs are different, the final answer is negative. Okay, so the correct answer here is negative three. And if you, if you got that right, that is fantastic. You definitely get full credit. All right, so let's move on to the next problem. So negative eight divided by negative four. Again, eight divided by four. That's the first thing you kind of want to figure out in your brain. So eight divided by four is two. Then you want to look at the signs of the numbers to uh, determine the sign of the answer. Okay, so negative divided by negative, the signs are the same. So the answer is a positive two. Now you don't need to write a positive two like this. If you just have a two like so, it's uh, pretty much assumed, uh, or that is saying in mathematics, that is a positive value. 
Okay, so the answer to this question is a positive two. And if you got that right, that is fantastic. You definitely get full credit. All right, so our last problem here is 15 divided by 3. But this is a positive 15, and this is a positive 3. So the signs are the same. So the answer to the question or the division problem will be positive, right? Same uh, signs. Uh, the answer is positive. So 15 divided by 3 is a positive 5. Okay, so if you got uh, all three of these correct, that is fantastic. Now we're going to move on to some a uh, little bit more interesting problems. And uh, feel free to use your calculator uh, for these next problems. So let's see how you do with these two problems right here. Matter of fact, uh, these will be the last uh, two problems that I'm going to cover in this uh, little video. But uh, feel free to use your calculator. And the first uh, problem is negative 1.7 divided by a negative 3.2. If you know the answer to this problem, put that into the comment section. Now the next question is uh, 2 fifths divided by a negative 1 half. What is the answer? Now uh, this uh, particular problem, try not to use your calculator, but uh, if you need it, that's fine. Either way, put your answer into the comment section. All right, so let's take a look at the solutions uh, to these problems. So negative 1.7 divided by a uh, negative 3.2 is a positive 0.53125. Now, this is the type of uh, problem that you want to plug into your calculator. But uh, before we type this into uh, our calculator, we need to notice that we have a negative and a negative. So a negative divided by a negative, the answer is going to be positive. So really, all we need to do is type in 1.7 divided by a positive 3.2. We can kind of disregard the negative signs when we are typing this into our calculator because we already know the answer is going to be positive. Okay, so again, when the signs are the same, the answer is positive. Now, one more thing about calculators. Uh, the way you make a negative number, so let's say, for example, you want to uh, type in a negative 3 look for a little button that looks like a negative sign. I think sometimes they have parentheses around it, and it all depends on what type of a calculator you have. But uh, to make a, a number negative, look for a, a button like this. It's not going to be the subtraction operator on your calculator, right? So you need to get to know how to uh, uh, make or type in negative numbers on your calculator. But uh, anyways, negative 1.7 divided by a negative 3.2 is a positive. 0.53125. Okay, so if you got that right, that is fantastic. You definitely get full credit. All right, so let's move on to this last problem. So here we have uh, a fraction division problem. So we need to know how to divide fractions. So 2 fifths divided by a negative 1 half. The answer is a negative 4 fifths. So how do we divide fractions? Well, we need to change this problem from division to multiplication. And the way we do that is we flip the fraction to the right of the division symbol. Okay, so here we have a negative 1 over 2. So we're going to flip this upside down. So 2 is going to become the numerator and 1 is going to become the denominator. So here we have uh, negative 2 over 1. So uh, now we need to figure out what 2 fifths times negative 2 over 1 is equal to. So to multiply two fractions, all we do is simply multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 2 times 2 is 4, and 5 times 1 is 5. But here we have a positive number. This is a positive 2 fifths divided by a negative number. So positive divided by negative signs are different. So the final answer is negative. Now, one more thing about fractions here is that uh, sometimes people get confused on uh, this, uh, where this negative sign should go in terms of, of a uh, fraction. So should we write a negative 4 over 5, or should we write negative 4 over 5 this way, okay? Or maybe we should write uh, 4 over a negative 5, okay? So how should we write our final answer? Well, here we have a negative divided by a positive. The final uh, answer here is going to be negative. This is positive divided by negative. The final answer is negative. So when you are dealing with fractions, put that negative sign in front of the fraction like this. That's kind of the best format. Okay, so hopefully you uh, learned 
how to divide positive and negative numbers. But the only way to really kind of uh, create uh, retention for this skill is to practice, practice, practice. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in basic math, check out these two courses right here. So the first is my Math Foundations course. This is a, a quick review of basic math. Now, if you want to review uh, basic math, algebra, and geometry, then check out my Math Skills Rebuilder course. I'm going to leave uh, links to both of these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.